Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess of Bahati Life. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. This is what I see for you for the next 28 to 30 days. If you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you're probably going to be watching this for the month of April. However, if you're watching this from the future, or you're called to watch this from, from the future, then this reading is designed for you to hear it now. Now let me just say, Libra, I typically don't play favorites, and I'm not playing favorites now, but I feel very excited for you <laughs> um, and to start this reading for you. I'm not sure, but when I was shuffling and beginning to shuffle for you and getting ready, I felt this burst of um, excitement and energy from you, and now that I'm... <laughs> Now that I'm shuffling and now that I'm sitting and I'm talking out loud, I feel as though spirit, your angels, your guardians, maybe, I'm almost getting a sense, mm -hmm. this is very specific, this is someone who is truly an ancestor um, that has passed on or a family member or a friend. So it might not be even a, real, a person that you're related to as much as it is a friend or someone who feels like a friend who in their in this new life, meaning they might might have passed on and they're from the spirit world, um, they are evolved. They're like a, um, a spiritual guru to you right now. And they are they've been watching and helping you, prepping you for this new spiritual awakening that you will be experiencing in your life now. Let's say if, if you're not a spiritual person it could be this deeper purpose, this more fulfilling purpose in your life that spirit is like, finally, we're here. And it has nothing to do with anything that you, mistakes that you've made. It's just been a part of your journey, which is we have to fulfill our purpose in that moment. But our purpose starts to deepen the more that we move along with life. And I feel like Libra, it's, you've, been gone, you've gone through a lot, Libra in your entire life. You've gone through a lot and all of those experiences, those highs and those lows, those disappointments and those moments that are just totally life-changing or a moment that was totally life-changing, they were there to help you to evolve. And I feel like you're in, entering into the space even now and looking at this, the high, high priestess. This to me is not necessarily you. I feel like this is your guide. Um, and again, this could be an ancestor. I'm getting very friend vibes, but if it's not a friend that has passed on or a family member that felt like a friend, it's an angel who is like friendly towards you. Their energy towards you is very friendly and very like, like compadre, is that the right word? Like very, very pl like playful and very relatable to you. It's not, um, it's not, um, intimidating. It's very, like, you can just look at them and relate to them. There's a similarity between the two of you guys. And I feel like this person, the spiritual guardian for you, is has been helping to get you to this point of your journey where you are going to get greater clarity and purpose, and your purpose is now going to nourish you. You're at, it's going to start to make sense. It's going to not be you nourishing others or you helping others, now you're going to step into a space where it spiritually feels fulfilling. It emotionally feels fulfilling. So you helping others or you doing this thing or you entering into this whatever, I see it as divine purpose, like a divine gift. It also serves you as much as it serves other people. That's what it is that I'm getting. Woo! Okay. Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. So for my zodiac, for, for, for the zodiac, half of the, the, um, half of the zodiac so far has been getting a lot of the same reoccurring messages. For Libra and another sign that I started just recently, um, cause I had to switch it, I had to do it in blocks and take a big break in between the two of them because what was the messages that were coming through for one point of the zodiac was so strong. You, you have a different energy. You're, this is nine of cups. And Seven of Cups. And the other cards that I pulled for the other Zodiac sign, um, which was Capricorn, it's you guys are stepping into a space of fulfillment. Uh, what I just heard is your destiny is being fulfilled. 
and it's karma and fate that helped you to get to this point along your journey. Everything happens as it should, and now it's happening, and it's exciting. I think that's why I was so excited to do your reading. I feel like I think that this spirit God has been orchestrating things, meaning like, okay, now this happens, and now this comes, and wait, 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 the beat drops, and then, you know, that's the vibe that it is I'm getting um, for you, Libra, and I feel like in April, you are going to really start seeing signs of manifestation, of this higher purpose starting to reveal itself to you. In order to do this, my love, Three of Cups, I feel like there's a lot of energy that's collaborating. I'm seeing, Libra, you are not a person who likes to be heavy. You're not a person who wants emotional to be emotionally burdened. You actually look for a good time. I am seeing that mirrored here now which is you don't want life to be an endless battle. You really, more than any of the signs, um, there's signs of the Zodiac who embrace and expect um, a lot of like a lot of work in order to receive abundance. You are really looking forward to making everything into not work. That's not to take away from the your work ethic. It's just to say that you, you have this natural tendency to turn things into something more fun. Um, Libra, for this month, for the next 28 to 30 days for you, I'm seeing you doing research. This card is about play, Libra, but for you, I'm seeing you enjoying research. I'm seeing you buying books, looking at books, checking out books, reading books, or doing study that it gives you, it nourishes you, it adds to your your spiritual purpose, it adds, it gives direction. I see, I am actually seeing you animals. I know this card does not connect to those things. I'm seeing this in my third eye. I'm seeing you with animals, specifically dogs, or cats who are like dogs, like animals who are very playful and very loyal and silly. Um, cats, to me, normally are very you know, reserved. So if it is a cat, it's a cat who is very playful. It will like come when called, it wants to play, it's, you know, <laughs> like just silly, makes you laugh. Um, it could be a kitten. It's just, I'm seeing you spending time with animals and animals that are very playful um, and bring, bring you joy. It could be you, let's say, let's say you don't have a dog, you might be walking someone's dog and on those walks, you gain so much information so much clarity, so much like guidance spiritually given to you. I definitely see you being out and about. Libra, there's a lot of visions that I'm getting from this card and that's basically how my readings work is I will see a symbol, I'll see a card and I know the meaning of it because I've studied tarot, tarot most of my life, but it will trigger third eye. I'm seeing you being out and about socializing. It's even in today's times, you know, things are kind of locked down. I'm seeing you going to a park and I'm seeing you gaining so much from going to the water, going to the park, um, going for a walk around the block, um, being out. I don't see you exclusively being stuck inside. Um, and if you are inside, you are going to be still out and about in some way. So it could be you're using social media. You could be finding a new group, a support group, and um, connecting with those people. You could be playing, I'm almost, this is going to sound really weird, and totally deviated from what it was I was saying. Libras, you might be playing video games, like virtually, through the internet, and finding joy through that. Even though that has nothing to do with your spiritual purpose, something about that is very nourishing to you, because maybe you things have been so work, 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 work for you, that you haven't had time to just sit back and do something that isn't involved with work. So it actually helps you to gain clarity into your purpose because you're not solely fo focusing on what you have to do. Um, so that's what it is I'm seeing for you. Okay, now these cards at the top, we have Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and King of Pentacles reversed. This is what I'm saying. This is King of Pentacles. I feel like you have to, to step away from your normal work. It's monotonous anyways. It's become monotonous. And this space that you're in right now allows you, affords you the luxury, even though you might not see it as that. But to get back in touch with your passion again, your fire again, and having fun. And it literally stems from you getting a new perspective, fresh air in your mind. 
it could be fresh air in your environment, but fresh air, it's like opening the windows in your head so that a breeze could blow through and clean it all out instead of you being stuck in the monotony and things getting stuffy in there. That's what it is I'm seeing, is that the energy freshens up. Wow. I love your reading. So this makes so much sense. I'm very excited for you, my love. Look, this is something that you've been calling out toward. Oh my gosh. Eight of Pentacles. This is the past. And the full card reversed. You've been working, 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 working. Like, it's been so draining. It's taken the enthusiasm out of your life. It's taken the fun out of your life. And because you're... Things have come to a screeching halt or things you're going to get this new awakening. You're going to hear the call when everything comes to a screeching halt. Finally, you're like, oh my God, it dawned on me that I don't want to be a teacher anymore. I don't want to be um, an accountant. I don't want to be helping people who don't appreciate. So I'm now going to, and you literally could have this epiphany while you're playing video games or reading a book, or going for a walk, or playing with your dog, because you realize, like, in those moments that you haven't been happy. You were there, you thought it would work, and then all of a sudden you decided, no, no, no. Okay, so the root, look, my love, look at you, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Ten of Wands, you lay the burden down. You lay it down, all of your expectations, all of your responsibilities, and then you switch your responsibilities to something different, something that gives you purpose and meaning and direction and clarity and passion. I see you being like, I don't need to carry this any longer. I don't need to do this anymore. And it literally, I'm seeing you getting this from, you know, engaging, being out, getting fresh air, fresh perspective. The center of your reading yeah, look at you, the Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you're learning, you're taking notes. This is the same energy of the High Priestess almost. The, the High Priestess comes after the Magician card. But it's like, now that you hear the call, now that spirit, your, that guardian angel that I was telling you about, now that they, they saw you, they, they, don't take, they don't diminish and say that all of your work up until this point has been for nothing. It just says, we want to spiritually nourish, nurture you. We want to, you to, to step into your purpose. So now you're listening to them taking notes and then you're manifesting it. Now you, your direction changes. Now you, you are stepping into this next new, this new chapter in your life where it actually, your, your passions are being fed into it more. I love this reading for you. I said from the jump, I was so excited for, for Libras. I didn't know why, but I just feel like you're, like, you're, like, like, as I'm saying this, like, my stomach, like, jumps. Like, I'm very excited. Like, I feel very excited. Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, um, and Three of Pentacles reversed. Moving forward, Libra, I want you to know that, and I don't want you to hear this and get disappointed by this. I just don't feel, sometimes Libra... Do you remember how I said in the beginning, because even my eyes flicked over to Three of Cups. Do you know how I said in the beginning that there's some, some people, the Zodiac signs, who expect things to be a lot of work? Um, Libra, hear me out when I say this. Um, you know hard work, but you don't tolerate hard, hardest work. You know hard work. There's people who do harder work, and there's people who do the hardest work. And usually it depends on your zodiac sign. Libra is not one of the signs that will tolerate the hardest level of work. Um, they just they just typically, they will fizzle out before they even get to that point. Um, so Libra, having said that, I have this sense that you're going to expect the reward overnight. You're going to expect that now that I have this purpose, now that I have this... I feel like I'm going to be Debbie Downer, and this is always how Virgos are with Libras, and Libras feel with Virgos. Like, oh my God, you're always stepping on my dream. I am not stepping on your dream. I want to add to your dream. <laughs> Libras, you probably hate the fact that I'm saying that right now. But I want to see you get there. And if I could, I would help you to get there, but I'm doing other things right now. And for the most part. And Libra, you're going to have to do it yourself for the most part. And it's not going to be an overnight success. It's not going to be an overnight transition. You are going to have to do some studying. You are going to have to put yourself out there. You are going to have to engage and ask questions. It's not, I don't want you to look for the future, be so excited, and then be pooped out and 
exhausted and frustrated that you're not seeing the reward overnight. Let's say it's social media, because Libras, I'm seeing you really putting yourself out there. Let's say it's social media or creating a YouTube channel or building an audience, because you would be amazing at that. Let's say it's that, and you're just like, I've been doing all these things, and I've been expecting it to pay off. And Spirit says, just don't expect it to just be this easy transition, um, easy and effortlessly, but also um, still enjoy the process and take it step by step and have fun with it. So instead of being like, it's not working out, it's not paying out, it's not paying off, um, I'm disappointed, I'm frustrated, just be like, I'm just going to continue having fun with this. I'm going to continue to create, innovate, and respond to the call that is being put over my life. Libra, it's sometimes when we think of spiritual purpose and spiritual um, destiny, and we think of, I'm going to be a guru, I'm going to be a Buddha, I'm going to be the Bob Marley of reggae music. Um, it's Sometimes it's not that heavy. Sometimes it's not... Um, like something so serious. Libra, you could really just be creating something just totally amazing. It could be like tennis. I don't know why that's coming through, but like you could be just moving from being a tax a tax accountant, like someone who does people's taxes, an accountant, to being a tennis instructor. And in your eyes, you're like, well, Jess, you know, you're saying my spiritual purpose, and this is just like I want to do tennis. I want to play tennis. And <clears throat> that's the thing is like you've been so – concerned and concentrated on helping others and this spiritual purpose of your life now is something that gives to you just as much as it gives to others so you might be a tennis coach you but and you love tennis so playing tennis gives you just as much as it's helping other people so I just wanted to say that really quickly and get that across Libra is that I don't want you to compare not that you would maybe you would but Look, study. I literally, that's exactly what I said. I see you with books. I see you studying, learning, researching. And this is a guardian angel that's like, follow me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this new happiness, this new joy because of all of the storms. That rainbow is very significant. I'm seeing you studying spiritual growth. See? I'm telling you, maybe one more, but I feel like I'm asking for a lot. But maybe that's a message all by itself, is that you're not asking for a lot. Emerging. You're just getting started. So be easy on yourself. This literally hit the nail on the head. That was so obvious to me. I'm really drawn to this next card. And at the base of your reading is abundance. And they're also playing music, so they're enjoying it. Um, I'm also really drawn to the Wild Offering Oracle for you. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, Self-acceptance, but I don't feel like that was totally your card. You have so many cards that want to jump out. Ah! I knew that was going to happen as soon as I said it. Hold on. Be right back. Oh, my gosh. I'm not as young as I used to be. Okay. Which is fine because you're only as young as you feel. Okay, so the cards that you have, self-sufficiency. This is about being able to rely on yourself and actually enjoying it. Like it's not, it shouldn't be monotonous. Make it God's. This is about you not forcing your will and manifesting it overnight. It's about respect. Um, divine timing. This is what I was saying, that everything got you to this point now. Um, and it's with perfect timing. You're going to be gaining clarity into your direction and into your purpose. Follow your feelings. That's the other thing too that was at the root of your reading is the Queen of Cups. It's Your feelings are very important. Your happiness, I promise you it's here. Your feelings are very important and your happiness is very important. And that means your feelings are all factored in and you've been feeling very defeated and even maybe overlooked. Feels like you, like you feel like you've been putting and helping or doing these things or contributing putting content out there, sharing your gifts, and people haven't been seeing it, acknowledging it, and appreciating it, so you feel very overlooked. Um, then we have the body. I don't know if that's a specific message for you, 
in particular Libra, maybe you're working on your body, maybe you're doing like fitness and putting yourself out there. And then the last card is gratitude, having gratitude for the journey. This opens the door for you to experience more abundance. And let's go ahead and focus on your love life because I didn't say this in the very beginning of your reading because I was so excited to get started on it, which was also the very same with Capricorn. But um, I'm doing love readings for each of the zodiac signs for this month. Again, if you're watching for April, which is what I'm filming for, then that's wonderful. But if you're watching from the future, it's whenever you're supposed to hear this message, okay? Um, this reading is for Abel, but it's also timeless. So let's see what happens when it comes to your love life. Okay, first and foremost, Libra, I feel like you've been feeling like you've been doing a lot of work and putting out a lot, like doing a lot. Um, I feel like you don't feel like it was being appreciated. Or maybe you spent so much time working that you had to neglect. You were isolated and you had to neglect your romantic life. But these are some things that Spirit is like, you are naturally a tractor. You naturally are a magnet towards people and relationships and things like that. And you've been so focused on your work that you haven't really allowed time for people to come in. Okay, Temperance, the Knight of Wands, and also the World card. So in your love life, Libra, what it is that I'm seeing is that all things are working right now to come together in order to give you more passion, more excitement, more attraction, more spark. And it's something that takes time to kind of develop. Um, but everything is factoring in in order to give to give you more passion and excitement when it comes to matters matters of the heart, when it comes to matters of love. Um, this is something that, especially you, Libra, you will compromise. You will definitely compromise for the right person. You will really try to work with someone. You will really try to factor in what makes them happy and what makes you happy. Yes, everyone's getting the same cards. Separation and passion. So you might have been separated from someone that you love. You might have been separated from your own passion. You might have had to sacrifice your passion for because you've been so work stuck on work um, and those things that are coming back to you. Keep an open mind. I feel like this is really being like, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just open to it. I'm totally open to it. Maybe you might be starting in a new... Um, I feel like if you're not in a relationship, you're going to meet someone when you literally least expect it. Maybe you're, like, you're going to be going on a walk. Okay, this is moving, yes, okay, Libra, this is, you, I think you might, for those that are single, I don't know, necessarily know if I see a major development right now, I feel like everything is kind of working its way out, like working itself and healing itself, with the temperance card and the world card, it's bringing everything together for your healing, for your greater good, so that you can have the enthusiasm, the oomph, the push to put yourself out there. Um, if you're in a relationship, this is all of these things, like you might need to like separate from each other or split or take a break from compromising and working things out so that you can get that spark again. Um, then we have honeymoon, release your ex, unrequited love and playfulness. There's something, an expectation, a, a, a karmic tie, something that you're having to get rid of in this space of just all about you, focusing on you. Um, anything that you feel like hasn't, again, you've been giving a lot and you feel like it's been, you've been skipped over. You feel like you're not being appreciated. So you, are, when you're taking this time to just play, playing video games, going for a walk, hanging out with the dogs, whatever, you are going to get new life again, new perspective, game, game perspective. And at the root of your reading is soulmate. So there is, a, this is all for your soul purpose. This is all for your, your evolution. It's all for your, this spiritual energy that's happening for you and all of it is divinely orchestrated all of it is just so perfect and the last card that I'm going to shuffle for you my love is the flower therapy the oracle cards um the last message that I'm going to give to you Libra then I'm going to take a tea break and have some tea see 
you are healed. There's this healing energy that needs to occur that's going to happen as you're playing, as as you take a break, a, a breather, to pause, to breathe, to play. Um, I don't feel like you want to look at things, your journey or your disappointments and lament over them and mourn them any longer than you have. I just feel like you're in the space where things are healing and you're healing. And you're trying to gain that life again, that play, that especially yellow is the color of your ability to play and to have fun and to have optimism and be happy again. Oh, look, balanced friendships. I feel like this is balance, give and take with you and your relationship with the world, with your relationship with others, your relationship with your career. It says your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. And with the temperance card and the world card, it's all of it is being made known to you right now to be like, let me not give a whole all of, of myself over here and none of myself over here. And you are lovable. That's I feel like you're that's what's being protected right now is through your play is that you are finding yourself by playing, by being finding happiness, by being out in the sun, by being out. And like not focusing so much on like work, work stuff, like the imbalances in your life that are going to help you to be like, I'm actually a very magnetic person. I'm a loving person. I have a lot to give. And it's also going to help you to see your purpose, your spiritual purpose, which is where you're at right now. All right, Libra. So I'm so happy to be able to do that reading for you. Um, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because not only do I post videos like this often, very often, but I go live every Monday at 9 p.m. East. 9 p.m.? No, 7 p.m. I don't know why I said 7, 9 p.m. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I go through all of the astrological um, positions of the planets at that time and transits so that you can plan for your life and you can, you know, expect the unexpected and see it before it occurs because that's what everyone else is able to do right now when they tune into those live chats. Make sure that you are subscribed. Go ahead and share this video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!